The English Summer Season by Peter Dench. This is another Rumble in the Jungle from Peter Dench, published in May 2019 by Fistful of Books. 60 pages. It's wire, wire bound, 10 and a half by 8, so a classic 10 8 size, 10 8 print size, roughly about the size of an A4, as I'm sure you're aware. Let's drop it down. Another Lovely addition by Peter. Taken over, I think, two summers is a documentation, a continuation of his alcohol in England, I, I guess, and looking at the English and, and their habits of culture, habits of drinking and tradition. Colourful and sometimes not attractive side of British English culture. Let's have a look at it. I'm not going to show you it all. You can buy this on the Fistful of Books website. It's out now. There may be 50 or so left by the time I Right, this was a very limited edition of, I think, 125, like I've said. And I'm going to go through it. It's got a plastic cover, and it's got the back here. And it got, um, here's was the, the, the Fistful of Books uh, website and stuff like that, which I'll put a link on. Yeah, limited edition 25. And I've got number 20. It's great. And so what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do for now is I'm going to show you the right side. I'm not going to show you the left side. I think you should get out and buy it. Maybe in six, seven months, I'll do the whole lot. I just want to put this out there to help Fistful of Books, to help Peter. So, so get out and get it. It's a couple of quid. When it's sold out, and maybe in a few months, I'll do the whole book and we'll look at it in a little bit more detail. But for now, I just want to quickly go through it, draw your attention to it, get you onto Fistful of Books website and get it bought before they run out and you'll never be able to buy one again. And maybe you'll get a signed one because I haven't got a signed one. I'll have to sort that one out. So it's an insight, like I said, of the drinking culture and tradition and um, events and pastimes of English sporting events, really, like Henley, Cartier, Polo, Epsom, and Royal Ascot, and the characters, the people, the mix of society which get together in a common bond of sport and alcohol and branding, I guess. So here's the Cartier Polo, I presume, it's a polo with the, the ladies and the, um, and the champagne there. That's a fantastic coming down to earth shot with a Lidl bag, so I love that. Now, I'm just gonna flip here because I, what I'd like of seeing is some text and he's left it very open in terms of text, there isn't any. So, as you can see, a gentleman here sitting with his DJ on a blue tie, drinking champagne with a nice Lidl bag. I think you have to appreciate the amount of work which went into actually turning up to these events, never mind shooting these events, never mind interacting with the people and getting the pictures and keeping strict on his vision and what he wanted to say, and what he's trying to juxtapose together with the, t the clash of cultures, the clash of dress sense, the clash of people and alcohol and the social event. You know what, I'm going to break the rule, right, because it's one of my favourite shots in the whole book is on the left side, so that's the only left side shot I'm going to show you, and that's that. I think that's a stunning shot. It's like something from a, 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 a Dada painting or something like that, or a Salvador Dali painting. It's just so surreal, that. it's fantastic. Beautifully observed, fantastic. So there's probably Roy Lascott or something like that. Sex, again, always plays a big part of Peter's eye, point of view. There's always playing around with the, the connotations of sex within his shots, and we all know sex sells, I guess, you know, so... But you can make a bad job of it, and I think he makes a good job of it, and I think his awareness to detail is superb, and this sort of shot here, you know, looks, he makes it look so effortless, you know, it's, it's fitting in with the edit of the book and the, and, and the way, and what he's trying to say about the way people associate themselves with these sporting events, not so much even with a drink, but with what they wear, you know, from, from the sort of DJs and the gowns to the sort of eccentric, even more centric styling of dress, like the guy with the white DJ and then the guy with the, the horse racing shirt on. The shots lose quite a bit around for the publicity. I don't think it's his best shot, but I get it. I get why it's done. Look at that. Great 
I'd say great use of flash. I presume he's using flash there. A lot of good photographers, you can't really tell they're using flash when they are. But also, a lot of great photographers, you can see the style of flash in there, and that's fine. But I think sometimes, you know, if you're shooting your flash a little bit below the aperture, you can, you can sort of hide it and get a nice, lovely, sharp contrast with the imagery. Great shot. And as true to Peter's editing, when you're looking at shots here, it's always relevant to the left side or vice versa. So he's always linking the shots up on the pages. I'm not going to show you the left side. Fistful of books, business card. Top hat and tails. So these, this is what I love this bit, because these are pulling out now to the sort of um, dress code. I presume this is Henley Regatta, the Roaring Club. Blazers. A little bit of titillation in there. Want for a better word. It's a really good shot on the right here. It is fantastic and I'm not going to show you. You should get it. I will show you in the next edition of this. But it's the perspective of the shot which is a classic um, intersection point shot where you're looking at um, the intersection point areas and looking at the third area, sorry, to, to lead you into the shot and you actually miss what's on the left. It might not make sense, but you have to look at the shot. And I'm not going to show you. You have to go and buy the book to have a look at it. But it's a beautifully observed shot. Really good depth here with the imagery on the cleavage, on the wine. But then we've got the beer here, the Union Jack, the Union Jack there. Excellent shot. You know, it's not all about the boobs. There's a lot more to this with the arms and the and the and the and the planes and the, the um, depth of field and stuff like that. So really clever shot. Such a good shot. Mix of tattoos and cleavage. There's another tattoo on the other side, which is fantastic. I love this shot. Now bring this down a little bit more. That's such a good shot. Maybe this is one of them shots you just capture. You know, he turns around, he sees it. There's a little bit of woman walking out the screen, which probably is the reason why it maybe was a, a snapshot. And maybe he took it as she left and he got it again. But it's all about her. It's all about the posture, isn't it? Definitely one of them shots, roughly by the way it's framed and the movement within it, it's one of them snapshots. Who knows? Argue with it, talk about it, let Peter talk about it. I'd love for Peter to add some dialogue to these. And also, you know, it's not just about turning up to these events, it's sticking to your, to your guns of what you want to shoot and having the balls to do it and having the balls to put your nose in with your flash and your camera into people's only day off for the month or been saving up all year to come here or it's their exclusive party which you put lots of money into or whatever or they've just lost a load of money on the horses or they're you know who knows why they're there apart from their coming to the event but then there's Peter sitting there with his camera looking at you and wanting to get a picture now, I presume people who are pretty drunk are um not, sometimes I'm not aware, but I'm sure people are aware. And I just think it's very clever, you know, and I, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of Peter's work. It's a great shot on the on the left side as well, which links in with this shot, and it's fantastic. Now, I saw a picture of this guy here. Peter's just launched the exhibition at the Wex Photo Video Gallery in London, and I think this guy, there was a shot of Peter with this guy at the opening. You might need to check your social media on that. That's fantastic and I think I like that about the last Trans-Siberian one where he in, he got the people involved with the shot and he used that as a coming together of the project and its presentation and just having the connection with the subject so it's not all about being out there and sticking the camera in the face it's having some responsibility to the subject and who you're photographing in many ways. It's great. And, you know, I've 
covered a few Fistful of Books editions. John Bulletin's book, who's just got a new book coming out soon, which I'm going to look at. Fistful of Books are a great little publishing company, limited edition. Check them out. Check this out. Get it before it's gone. I'll do a fuller version of it, a little bit more of an in-depth look at it later on. It's Peter's continuation of Alcohol England and just having a lot of fun. Thank you.